Hi there, I'm Calisella. Welcome to The Gimp for Life Presents The Magic Scissors Tool. And here you can see where the tool is located in your toolbox. And I've increased the size of the icon so you can see that as well. Okay, for this um, demonstration, I am going to use this image right here. The Magic Scissors tool is also, by the way, called the Intelligent Scissors, and it's a tool of selection. It selects an area defined by strong color changes at the edges, as you can see we have here. First we click the Magic Scissors, then we set anchors by clicking around the image. We're going to select the white part of the image and we complete the selection by clicking into the first anchor we set and you can see the nice curve that it has generated there. Now we want to click inside the selection to activate the selection. The marching ants show the edge of the selection now and now we can act upon it. I've got this nice blue color. I'm going to draw lines across and you can see how only the selected area will accept the color and watch. I'm doing a little scribble on the edges. You can see also where the magic um, selection tool has uh, some problems. It didn't quite select it exactly and that's one of the problems with the magic scissor tool. Now, you can also choose Invert from the Select menu to select the outer area. And so we'll go Select, Invert. I'm going to change my color here to a nice green. And again, now you can see that everything but that area, the inverse of it, has been selected. And that's how you use the Magic Scissors tool. Yay! Now you know how to use the Magic Scissors tool. Thank you for watching this video. Please drop by my shop in West Haven, the perfect gift, in Second Life anytime you want. You can teleport off my profile to visit me, Calisella.